all right guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to be discussing the path that all 20 and 30 year olds must choose every single day you wake up with the opportunity to stay on your current path or change the path that you're on here's the issue most people don't understand that you choose this path every day with the actions that you take so in today's video, we're going to be discussing three paths, the mediocre path, the average path, and the path of the top 20%. Now, before I get started, I just want to mention that just because you, you have an action from the mediocre path doesn't make you mediocre. This is more as to offer a spectrum so you can see where you're at. Am I mediocre? Am I in between mediocre and average? Am I in between average and a top 20%? Am I top 20% or am I just average, right? This is that whole deal. So by the actions that I list out here, ask yourself, where do you fall on this list? And let me know down in the comments below. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. So we're going to be talking about mediocrity first. And this is what life looks like as a mediocre man. So some of the actions that you're taking is excessive drinking, drugs, partying, excessive masturbation, excessive video games, out of shape, dead end job, no purpose, victim mentality, and no real social life. There are so many men who are headed down this path right now and are refusing to do anything about it because they have accepted it. So let's go ahead and look at what does your life look like if you continue down this road. So let's go ahead and start with the 20s. Now again, remember you're 20. So when you're young, you're damn near invincible, right? So let's go ahead and look at that life. Well, you sleep in late because you don't have work till 5 p.m. First thing you do in the morning is look for a hit of dopamine from drinking, smoking, dirty movies, or endless scrolling or swiping on apps. You obsess over women who don't know you exist and don't make any moves on girls you're interested in. Women who do text you from apps or random numbers are never serious and you end up getting ghosted constantly. You have no idea what you want to pursue, so you get a dead-end job just to have a little money in your pocket. You use God as a scapegoat but know damn well you're not doing anything in your life that would please him. That's huge. A lot of you guys need to hear that. You don't take your health seriously, but because you're young, it hasn't really caught up to you other than the fact of you being flabby, okay? You blame your current bad circumstances on your family and your environment. You have no friends or the friends that you do have don't want anything for themselves and are okay with being losers. And of course, your testosterone is lowering by the year. A lot of people get mad when I talk like this, but the reality is this is just a result of the actions that I have listed above. So if you're doing any of these actions, you can get mad at me for exposing the lifestyle that you live, but understand something that you are in control of these. And so if you don't want to live this lifestyle in your 20s, then I suggest that you start taking a hard look at the actions that you are participating in every day now listen this is just the beginning this is just the foundation that you've built for yourself in your 20s now let's go ahead and look at what happens if you continue this in your 30s every day you wake up miserable your room apartment house is filthy something is always wrong in your life whenever something good happens it's immediately followed up by something bad to set you back even further you believe that a good life is handed to you and you're either born with it or not. You're invisible to women, so you don't even bother trying to approach or get a number, but will swipe endlessly on dating apps. You self-soothe you self yourself by masturbating to other men banging women on a screen. You pay for OnlyFans in hopes of getting female attention and validation. You hate your job that doesn't pay enough, but refuse to switch or make yourself more valuable to the marketplace. You struggle with depression because the drinking and drug use fried your dopamine receptors, destroyed your testosterone, and put you in a non-stop lazy state of mind. You're extremely out of shape and sloppy, and you don't shower often and wear clothes that haven't been washed in weeks. 
people naturally don't respect you because you don't respect yourself. Is this the type of life that you guys want for yourself? I know if you're listening to my channel, this is something you absolutely want to stay away from. But again, a lot of us reject this in our minds, but we do not reject this in the actions that we take. So again, you have to make sure that you look at the actions that you are taking every single day and ask yourself, am I drinking a lot? Do I do drugs at an excessive amount? Am I partying a lot? Do I masturbate very frequently? Do I play video games way too long? Am I out of shape? Do I have a dead end job? Do I have a purpose? Am I always blaming other people for my sorrows? And do I go out? Do I have some type of real social life? If you're doing any of these things, just remember that this these are what you're building. This is the foundation that you're building and this is what you're end up you're going to end up uh, doing in the future now again you may not do all of these things but do you want any part of this life at all if i said hey brother you could volunteer to choose one would you choose one <laughs> i know i wouldn't so let's go ahead and look at what life will look like if you decide you know what i'm tired of being mediocre and instead what i'm going to do is i'm going to start to process of going from mediocre to being average now listen i've met a lot of people who were average and some people are okay with being average but the, the last thing i want is for you to settle for being average when you had more in you does that make sense so let's go ahead and look up what the average is so you know your average if you don't manage your money over 60% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. You don't take your health serious. The average American is overweight. You're drinking in moderation. So it's not that big of a problem. You may have a couple beers after work. Maybe you go crazy on the weekends, but it's not an everyday thing. Does that make sense? Same thing for drug use. You may be using drugs maybe sometimes after work or maybe excessively on the weekends, but it's not excessive every single day. You go to social events in moderation. You don't have much of a social life, but you will go out to whether there's a big game, you'll go to a sports bar, or maybe there is some type of concert that you enjoy, you'll go to that. You have a small dating life. You, la you have a lack of reflection, meaning you don't look back and you're not looking for opportunities to grow. You have little to no personal growth and you are complacent. So let's go ahead and look at what life looks like if you continue down this path. Now, let's start with the 20s. And this is essentially you building that foundation using those actions. So despite having a decent income, you never bother to manage your money, living paycheck to paycheck and missing out on opportunities for financial stability. You brush off the importance of a balanced lifestyle and find yourself struggling with weight issues. You turn to drinking and or drug use to escape the boring routine that is your life. But again, like I said, it's only in moderation. You're not you don't have an excessive problem, but you're still doing it. Your social life includes drinking at a sports bar and or going to a concert. Sometimes you're afraid of rejection. You maintain a small dating life, missing out on potential meaningful connections and settling for occasional rare flings. Listen. Everybody gets lucky. If you're in their specific place at the right time, everybody gets lucky. And the average guy, though he may not be getting the results that he wants, every once in a blue moon, three months, six months, nine months, a year and a half, he'll get laid. It's just a thing. And again, you continue through life without questioning your choices or seeking personal growth opportunities. These are guys who say, I don't know what to do next. And instead of actually trying to figure out what they do next, they just keep saying, I don't know what to do next and keep moving on throughout their life. And of course, the last but not least, you accept average and are complacent with where you're at and where you're headed. OK, and so let's go ahead and look at where exactly you are headed because of the foundation that you've built. So you're continuing down this path, doing very average work, average thinking, average everything. And this is what your life becomes. Your income and work history qualified you to buy a house, still live paycheck to paycheck. You think online business and investing are scams. And so you rely on your 401k for retirement. Again, this is not me ragging on these people. There are a lot of people who are depending on their 401k for retirement. That's fine. Right. But again, most people don't look at other financial opportunities so they can set themselves up later because they think they're scams. They think they don't work.
right? Okay, next. You're still struggling with weight issues. You gained 120 pounds from drinking and poor diet choices, and you don't hit the gym because you quote unquote don't have time, right? Plenty of people that I've known from high school who I look at now let themselves go. And it's always so heartbreaking, especially if they were hot. You know what I mean? If she was extremely hot and then nowadays she has the, the body of somebody who is just gross, man, that's such a heartbreak. Anyway, next, you need something. You need, see how I capitalize that need? You need something to take the edge off when you get home, whether it's a joint, a couple of cans of beer or a quick tug tug, you know what I mean? Right now at the point you need something because at first you didn't really, eh, it was just an occasional thing, but now you need something because of that foundation that you've built. It's become a habit of yours now. Again, the older you get, the less and less you enjoy crowds or people in general. This is starting to hit me, <laughs> right? But you'll hit the bar with your work buddies to catch the game and tell old stories about the flings you had in your 20s, right? Those old flings that happen, that's that's like the highlight of your life. And whenever you go to bars with your friends or your work buddies, this is what you talk about, essentially. Just old girls that you used to, uh, used to bang. Then boom. Uh, the next one, you got a woman pregnant and decided to marry her to raise the child. The relationship is meh, but you guys make it work. Now, again, I'm, I'm not, I didn't say the relationship was bad, right? The relationship is meh. You look at her and every day in your mind, you're like, well, I could have done better. But then you look in the mirror and you realize, well, this is actually as good as it's going to get, right? So again, that's what happened. One of those flings that you had, you end up getting her pregnant. You decided to do the right thing. You married her and now you're raising the kid. Relationship is eh, but I mean, you guys make it work, right? So you guys got a house, a nice kid, uh, uh, um, a relationship with somebody who is meh, and you. this is your life, all right? Next thing, you accept that you messed up and there's nothing. Oh, sorry. You accept that you're messed up, right? You accept that you're messed up and there's nothing you can do about it. So other people will just have to deal with it because you're not changing. Again, this is a result of you not going through life, not questioning your choices or seeking personal growth opportunities. So because you've been doing that for so long, you're at the point now where it's like, man, take it, take it, take it as it is. Take it or, or leave it. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just working on yourself to try to be a better individual. And the last but not least is that you accept that it is what it is and work with what you got. So now you're trapped in this lifestyle to where it's like, eh, it is what it is. I, mean, I might as well just continue to live the lifestyle that you want to live. Now, again, average isn't that bad. It's just average. You know, you have a nice girl. I mean, she's whatever. She's not, them, she's not bad, but she's not good either. You know, it's meh. You have a kid. You have a house. You know, you have a job that you don't really like, right? Uh, you have a, a cool 401k, you go out drinking and you're doing things and you're drinking and drugging in moderation, right? Is this the type of life that you want? And that, that's what you have to ask yourself, because if you're doing these actions up here, not managing your money or figuring it out, not trying to take your health serious or figuring it out, drinking in moderation, drug use in moderation, social events in moderation, small dating life, lack of reflection, little to no personal growth and you're complacent. If this is the type of lifestyle that you're living, understand that these are the results that you're going to get. So if I asked you, I said, hey, volunteer and pick something out of this lifestyle that you want for yourself, what would you pick? Now, again, if you're anything like me, it's probably nothing, you know? Um, I've, tr I've been in this lifestyle before, having an income and having an apartment and living, I wasn't living paycheck to paycheck, and I, but I wasn't managing my money. You understand what I'm saying? I thought things were scams, but then I decided, I said, you know what? No, I need to change. I wanna get better than what average has to give me because I don't want average. So for the guys out there who don't want average, let's go ahead and look at what your life would look like when you start following the path of the top 20%, okay? So this is what your life looks like as a top 20% man. So the things that you're doing, you're a money manager. You manage your money, which in return, because you're managing your money, you become an investor. Now you are career oriented and or business minded. You are focused on a healthy lifestyle, mindful eating. You, you, you understand exactly what it is you're putting in your mouth and what it does to your body. That's mindful eating. You prioritize mental health. 
you cultivate meaningful relationships, you're active, you have an active and a fulfilling dating life, your commitment, you have a commitment. Notice how I say commitment. This is extremely important. Look up the definition of commitment. You have a commitment to personal growth. You regularly self-reflect. You have a growth mindset and you are a you 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 partake in philanthropy and giving back. I should put in here you have a journal. If you don't have a journal, you're not in the game. If you don't have a journal, you're not in the game. If you don't have a journal, you're not in the game. If you don't have a journal, you're not in the game. Okay? So listen, now that we're doing these things, what does our lives look like if we continue to go down this road? So let's go ahead and look at what your life looks like when you in your 20s. So boom, you start learning about the game of money and how it's played, leading you to understand and build habits around budgeting and investing. You read professional development books and start having conversations with your boss about what it will take for you to advance in your career slash you start reading business books to understand the fundamentals of business. Because understand something, some guys want to climb the corporate ladder and some guys want to start their own business. All right. So I just put them in the same category. Next, you start reading, consulting and practicing healthy habits that set a proper foundation to understanding what it means to live a healthy lifestyle. Next, you start reading and putting yourself out there to gain more social skills while plugging yourself into different community events. The one thing that I've noticed being more social is there's always something going on in your community that you can plug yourself into if you decide to, if you make it a priority in your life. Next, you study and hire a coach to teach you how to be more attractive as a man and get better with women. You look at failures, setbacks, and challenges as opportunities to grow and develop yourself into a stronger person. And you start asking yourself, how can you be of service to others around you without trying to gain something out of it? Now, notice how life in your 20s, I mean, on paper, it may sound great, but the reality is it's kind of boring because all you're doing is learning, reading, reading, consulting with experts, reading, studying, uh, reflecting, and doing intro personal uh, uh, reflection, right? You're doing all of these things. And, you know, there's there's some things that you're doing in here that are fun, like you may practice uh, doing different things, but essentially all you're doing is studying, learning, and building that foundation. Well, what happens when you've built this foundation and you start to go through life in your 30s? Well, you have five and six figures in your checking, savings, investment, and business accounts, and your bills are paid early every single month, right? You are a senior level in your career with all the perks slash your business is thriving with employees running the bulk of the day to day. You are in great shape and take pride in making sure you stay that way. You have a comfortable network of people that you know and who knows you. You are deeply connected to your community and even help throw or participate in future events. You have an amazing girlfriend by your side and talking about building your lives together. You're a natural problem solver and you help change lives by giving back and participating in charity events. And again, notice like, first of all, I don't know about you guys, but this life sounds awesome to me. It sounds great. But notice how in order for before he had to get all the cool stuff, he had to learn and he had to study and he had to put his head down and he had to uh, uh, delay a lot of the gratification that is enticing you today. So notice that these these actions, I'm going to be real with you guys. These actions are boring. It's, it's just boring. Right. It's it's boring. It's dull. It's unexciting. But at the same time, it's a building block to build the lifestyle that you want to live. So, again, this isn't to say that, oh, you can only be top 20 percent or you can only be average or you can only be mediocre. This is something that you as a man need to start looking at and asking yourself what actions am I participating in every day? You may not be doing every single one of these. You may not be doing every single one of these, right? But again, it's about asking yourself, see, I done lost myself. It's about asking yourself, like, what am I doing? Am I drinking in moderation? Because if you're drinking in moderation, congratulations, you have points in average. 
if you are excessively masturbating, congratulations, you have a, a, a foot in mediocrity, right? And let's say you do manage your money. Well, then you have a foot in the top 20%. But where does that lead you? Because you have one side pulling you this way, another side pulling you this way, and then one side pulling you this way. Well, then that, that lands you in average. You understand what I'm saying? And when that lands you in average, again, look at the average lifestyle. Is this the type of lifestyle that you want to live? And so if you're trying to climb up, right, if you're trying to go from mediocre to average, you're going to have to make sure that you're not taking part in any of these mediocre actions. Does that make sense? And this is the main thing that's going to help you go from mediocre to average. And when you're average, it's like, okay, well, what else do I have to do? Because this is the hard part. Once you're in average, you're kind of complacent because your bills are getting paid on time. You live paycheck to paycheck, but your bills are getting paid on time. You can occasionally spend money and buy something that you like, right? But there is no real freedom. It's just comfortable. And if you are okay with comfortable, again, this is what your life is going to look like. And so you have to start making your way to the top 20%, even though at the time when you're building your foundation, it's boring. But I promise you that over time, when you start to see the results from you following these actions, now that's when your life starts to become a lot more awesome. Does that make sense? So again, it's just about understanding what actions that you're taking and then figuring out what actions that you um, you need to do in order to get the results that you want. The main thing that I see a lot of guys struggle with is they are average. They're in between average and top 20 percent. However, they have one one thing, in, one foot in mediocrity that's keeping them average or slightly above average. Now, again. This is the life that you live when you're average. Now, you may take a couple things of these away and replace them with top 20%. However, if you don't get rid of that mediocre, you'll never be able to fully leave average or slightly above average. And this is what that it's about. So understand something. If you're trying to live, where's the lifestyle at? If you're trying to get a lot closer to the lifestyle that you want, go ahead and go in the description box below and book a call with me join the group that's going to start in january you guys have 23 24 days left until that group is going to start book a call with me let's go over the life that you want to live and the actions that you're going to have to take in order to live that life when you do that and you join the group what's going to happen is we're all going to be motivating each other because we all have the same mindset we're going to be motivating each other keeping ourselves accountable and of course checking in to make sure that we are on track to becoming the person we've always thought we should be and of course taking part in the actions that we need so if you're looking for if you're looking for that kind of help book a call with me down below uh let me know down in the comments what you guys thought and let me know just based off the actions that you're currently taking where do you fall are you in between mediocre and average are you mediocre are you average are you in between average and top 20 percent or are you top 20 percent right let me know down in the comments below and if you made it this far type in choosing my fate choosing my fate and with that i'll see you guys in the next one peace